Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A40 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So the device in front of me is locked as you can see right now and just as a quick uh, showcase I'm also going to show that the there is a pin or not a pin but a pattern right now and there it is so I can unlock it either with the pattern or the actual account. Now uh, keep in mind that there is a pattern because we're going to change it later on to something else that will be used to basically bypass this entire lock. So let's go back to Wi-Fi right here. And uh, from here, once you connect to Wi-Fi, uh, you need to be connected. Otherwise you don't see the next button. Um, so once you're connected, what you will want to do is press uh, two uh, buttons at the same time, basically. So wi uh, turn off Wi-Fi and the next. Now, just as a, uh, a little pointer to doing it uh, correctly, uh, the Wi-Fi needs to be turned on or well, off, tapped on a sliver of a second before the next. Uh, if you try both of them at the same time, it just kind of fails. And if you do it too slow, uh, the next will disappear or the process, uh, if it goes further, the process doesn't really work and it starts going through an infinite loop of like loading. And from there, uh, to recover that, you just have to basically reboot the device. So let's try that right now. And I think I did it too slow right now. So uh, that was a case of being too slow, which it just turns off the uh, Wi-Fi and I can't really progress further. So there we go. So that was the correct way. It kind of fails and goes a step backwards. So we're gonna tap next. Okay, turn it back on and repeat it. Now we're gonna do that about like three times before the app crashes, which is what we're looking for. Now the second time. Okay, and again, let's go turn it on. And once more. And this time I believe it will crash. Yep, and there it is. So once you see this message right here that uh, the app crashed or uh, setup wizard keeps stopping, uh, you wanna go to app info. Then scroll down to notifications. Right, I said notifications, let me just check it quickly. Um, or permissions, I believe. Yep, so it's permissions. Then tap on the uh, search bar right here and look for Google. So you wanna type that in. And it will find a lot of stuff here, I believe. Actually, it didn't. Uh, so what we're looking for is the app info one. And it's right here. Uh, this is actually is shorter than uh, on the different um, Samsung devices. Um, so let's just tap on that. And then choose open right here. And the search bar for the Google app, you wanna search for settings. And this will uh, give us the option to open up the settings app. Once you tap on it, it takes you to the settings. So from here, we're gonna go into security. So biometrics and security scroll all the way down to other security settings and pin windows enable that and tap on it and enable this too so just to go back uh, it will force us to set up a new uh, way of unlocking the device uh, because the previous one I mean, the previous one that we could verify the account is not the one that the device is using at the moment so it allows us to set up a new one, overriding the old one that needs to be verified. So we're gonna go to, um, we had a pattern as you remember, so we're gonna go with a pen. So stop, one, two, three, four, continue, one, two, three, four, okay. And from here, let's just hold the power key, power off and power off. And then we're gonna go back through the setup process. Now this time around, once we are in the verification screen, instead of a pattern, we will have the pin. And well, we know the pin because we have set it. So let's wait for this to boot up.
Okay, so we'll need to use that pin several times. Um, so that's the first time to unlock the device. And again, just go through the setup process as we did before. Uh, we need to turn that back on. Let's go to next. And I believe this is previously where it was telling us to verify the account. And there it is. So before we had a uh, pattern. Now it's just a pin that we have set one, two, three, four. Next, and unlocked. Now just to be uh, super like safe, um, once the once the setup is finished, and we can skip this. Once the setup is finished, you still I would advise you to go to the settings and perform a reset through settings, just in case there is some kind of leftover from the previous account. Uh, if you do the reset through settings, it will completely remove anything that might have been left on the device. Now I'll also show you how to do that. I just simply won't really perform it because I don't really see the point in wasting the time here. And you can see that we're now on the home screen. Once it's fully boot boots it up, there we go. So from here, let's go to the settings. Oops, settings, scroll down to general management, reset, and choose factory data reset right here, and then reset. And again, you will need to put that pin in that we have did before, and then choose delete all. Actually, I guess I'll just click on it. And once the process is finished, we should be then back in the setup screen um, with the, the device then fully unlocked without any kind of traces being left over from the previous account. So yeah, let's just simply wait for this to finish now. And as you can see, now the process is finished, so you know, I'm gonna go through a quick setup, skipping most of the things that I can, and you'll see that the first thing that I will be able to skip is the Wi-Fi connection, which if the device were still locked, I wouldn't even have that option here. So let's continue on. And there we go. And as you can see, the device is now fully unlocked once it actually boots into the Android. And yeah, so that is how you bypass the Google verification screen. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.